Hi, I'm Van Phillips, European Tour winner and PGA coach. Now there are many secrets to hitting the ball as far as you possibly can and gaining maximum club head speed, but there could be one that's the most important and I'm going to reveal that one in this video. Okay then, so what is the most important or possibly the most important factor in allowing us to generate the maximum club head speed for our individual body? Now obviously there are many factors that go towards swinging the club as fast as we possibly can and some of them would be swing length so the the the, the length that you can actually create in your backswing is going to give you more time to generate speed we don't often see short backswings hitting the ball a long way maybe with the exception of Tony Finau and John Rahm who are both huge guys so, and even so they are not maximizing their individual potential even though they hit it a long way relatively speaking to normal people and even normal pros they could hit it a hell of a lot further if they lengthened their swing and created more leverage they don't want to do that because they hit it far enough already so swing length would be one we could talk about hip speed we could talk about rotational speed of the trunk we could talk about ground forces there are lots of factors but the one that we can all really take advantage of is the plane of the lead arm. So what do I mean by that? Well, when we take our address position and we start our backswing, the lead arm for me is the left arm, the arm that's nearest to the target. And if we have a flat backswing, so what I mean by flat is I mean the lead arm is along the shoulder plane okay or even lower than the shoulder plane then we could consider that to be neutral to flat in the backswing now there are lots of really good players who have a lead arm plane that mirrors their shoulder plane in the backswing I'm not saying you can't play great golf that way but we're talking about maximal speed here now when we look at the long hitters especially the world long driving champions what we're going to see is we're going to see a lead arm that gets way steeper than the line of their shoulders so they've got a very steep lead arm plane now the reason that this is important when it comes to generating speed is because if we have a flat arm as I described earlier that creates more moment of inertia with the trunk of the body so moment of inertia is something's resistance to twisting and when we allow our lead arm to follow the rotation of our trunk and get on the same plane as our shoulders or even lower than our shoulders we're increasing the moment of inertia so we're increasing the resistance to twisting and we don't want resistance to twisting we want our body to unwind as fast as it possibly can and we also want our lead arm to drop down as fast as it possibly can now it can only do that if we allow it some freedom if we get that lead arm very steep in the backswing it's going to a be able to drop faster with more velocity it's got less resistance the body's not getting in the way and it's also going to enable our trunk to rotate faster for the same reason that we're not creating more resistance so moment of inertia is a huge factor in generating club head speed and we need to reduce that we need to lower that moment of inertia we need to make it easy to twist in the golf swing so i'm going to go ahead here and i'm going to attempt to get my lead arm as steep as i possibly can in the backswing that's going to allow me to have a faster chopping motion that lead arm is going to be able to come down with more speed and velocity it's also going to enable my trunk to rotate faster with less resistance let's have a go Now, 
That felt a little bit unusual for me because that was a bit steeper than I would normally swing, but I could really feel the freedom there. I had a slightly extended range of motion. I could feel that my, my hands were at a greater height than normal in my backswing. And again, this is all relative. I'm not particularly flexible in my thoracic spine, so I don't get huge amounts of trunk rotation, but relative to what's normal for me, that was a higher lead arm position. Now, am I saying you're gonna play better golf like this? Am I saying you're gonna hit the target more often like this? No, this is a pure speed secret and it will take time for you to work this into your game. If you're somebody with quite a flat lead arm plane in the backswing, this is gonna be something you're gonna to need to work on pretty hard on the range to build it into your game. It's not something I advise you walk out onto the golf course on the first tee and start to implement. So it's gonna take some work, but there's no question, do your own research, research world long driving champions, look at the longest guys on the PJ Tours. You're gonna to see they've all got a pretty steep lead arm in their backswing. You're not gonna see many long hitters with that lead arm lower than their shoulder plane for sure and that's something that you can really work on to increase your club head speed. I hope you're enjoying these videos and as always I urge you to head over to my website. I'm adding material all the time and there's a whole library of information there that's based on 35 years of my research together with playing at the very highest level. So these are not theoretical tips that I'm making up hypothetically here. I've actually put these things into or to the test with a card in my hand playing against the best in the world. So head over there, it really is an incredible resource. Thank you.